The butcher is back. Job's all done, I hope. Good. Where's Nelson? He'll have his ear to the ground on what folks are saying. Nelson! Sebastian? Old man, I asked you to keep an ear out about Black's lieutenants. What's the word? Well, interesting stuff afoot, to be sure. John Lockheed's gone entirely missing. But separately, there are reports of a horrible scene in a Millwall flat. Someone torn to absolute pieces. Body in no way identifiable. Let's talk with maybe some crazed chemed doing it. Winston, what the fuck have you done? You sick little shit. Enforcer Sinclair is an interesting case. A bunch of her goons are dead in the factory over Newham, but her body ain't anywhere to be found. There's a rumor going round that some of her slaves fought back and fed her to her pet. True justice, they're calling it. Damn it. This fairy tale shit is not what I fucking wanted. And last but not least is Peter the Fence. News is he's scarpered, fled the city, and with a major chunk of the Syndicate's capital too, by all accounts. Unbe fucking leaverable. Some butcher you've turned out to be. Did you get the ledger, at least? Disappointing don't even begin to cover this. What will people think of us now? Course, word on the street don't matter so much as what Black knows. And he knows, I'm sure. He'll see that this were all the vagabonds' work. Might take him some time to regroup his dogs, but when he hits back, he'll hit back hard. We could be talking total annihilation if we ain't ready. Spare me the damned apocalypse talk, Nelson. I'll deal with Black. For now, dismissed. As you will. What the fuck is wrong with you, Wayfarer? Are you terminally insubordinate? I tell you to kill Lockheed, and you let this sick pile of shit over here slice him into fucking human stew. I tell you to kill Sinclair and make it obvious, and you instead listen to Antony's stupid sob story about burning the corpse. And Peter? You let that fucking snake live. Shit like that comes back to bite you. The whole point here was to send a message, and instead you've just caused bloody chaos. And you lot, you utter pack of clowns, egging on the new mug with your personal shite. Are you trying to sabotage the whole damned vagabond cause here? Are you ruining everything I'm trying to achieve? You're a disgrace, the lot of you. I should have you all on the fucking chopping block. Now you, you're dismissed. Get out of my sight, you useless shite. You better shut your damned trap, Waveheader, because you're in major risk of having it blown off. Now fuck off. If you hang around, wouldn't hurt none. We need the numbers. It's a good day to get things done. It's a good day to get things done. You the one helping out. Good to see ain't everybody out to get us. Hey you, got a note came in for you on an urgent delivery. Huh? Do you feel that? Hmm, but something more. I feel almost like there's a storm coming. Like something big is about to happen that's going to flip everything over. Something doesn't feel right. I don't like this. I'm going to go scout the perimeter.
Shoveled stuff. More bodies getting shite done, never hurt anything. Didn't your mum teach you better? Hello? Ah, young plum. Glad to finally hear you. Listen, listen quick. I've had a word that Black is going to flee the city via his personal biplane at London City Airport. He'll take a bit of time to gather his bits. I need you to get down to his personal train and intercept him. Alone. We can't risk it. A big force might get noticed and spook out Black. Besides, I'm told that a cover force is being sent to attack Bromley. We all need all we can to protect our home. I don't want him getting hurt. He loses his senses when it comes to Black. I can trust you on this. Good. Get to it. Watch your back, because I can see exactly where my knife would fit. Look where you're going. My store. You the one helping out? Good to see you ain't everyone out to get us. Mind your P's and Q's, or you'll mind me bullets. Oi, Wayfarer, what's this about you getting some urgent message? The fuck? I told you before, Black's mine. Give me the details. Gaunt, I just spoke to patrol. Syndicate and forces are coming in on all sides. Fuck. Be ready. Get everyone ready. I'll take the front. We'll drive these fuckers back and take the fight to Millwall. It hurts me to say this way, further, but Black's all yours. Don't you dare let that coward escape. Here, take these. I can at least provide the bullets that goes through his fucking skull. Good. Now fucking go! Touch me again, and there'll be consequences. If I had it my way, you wouldn't dare show your face here. You little shit. Treasure Hunter and a trap. Can everyone stop being shot? Lads, found us. I can the see invincible. I can see my mum.
Huh? You bastards. I feel like a yeti shut in my head. Hmm? Why the fuck did you make me drink four zombies? One yeah, fuck, I could see her. I could see the mum. Someone's Not after here. us. <laughs> Not here. I swear I saw something. Oh well. junk for me. I should be used to it by now. But 
But Black is comfortably sitting in his office in Canary Wharf. This train goes right there, in fact. I don't control it, mine. All done remotely. I got a little signaler here to tell the Syndicate chaps to trigger it once we've had a little chat. I'm afraid the lies go back many years. It's Gabriel's fault, really. He made me promise. Take a proper oath that if anything were to happen to him, that I'd keep his lad Sebastian safe. So when Black killed Gabriel and told me to become an informer, or he'd slaughter Sebastian too, what were I to do? Bastard even paid me, just to add to the shame. I'm almost glad he took my eyes out so I don't have to face myself in the mirror. I've been acting turncoat for ten years now, feeding the Syndicate intel, pushing back against Sebastian's more aggressive plans. Sebastian don't have a clue. I wish it weren't true. The thing is, I've kept the Vagabonds under the radar. Reigning in aggression, not overstepping on the Syndicate's toes. It's only by staying small that we've stayed alive. Until you came along. I knew you were special when the boys brought you in, but I didn't think you'd upset things this much. You've brought success after success for the game. I know you haven't made everyone happy. You've certainly made Sebastian bolder, more fired up. Now he thinks he can take on Black with no challenge. It's mad. He ain't got a clue just how big Black really is. How impossible any war against him would be. And so, we come to this. Sebastian has become his own enemy. The biggest threat to his own survival. What am I to do? Stick behind him and let him get himself killed? Taking all the vagabonds with him? Or... something else? Look. Black's an evil bastard. There is no denying that. But he understands how the world works. He sent me to give you an offer now. Betray the Vagabonds and join with him. Otherwise, the Vagabonds will get wiped out by him anyway. But it'll be slow and painful and leave half of East London in ruins. That's the situation. Accept Black's offer and you can go and see him right now. Perhaps you see more than me, young plum. But I don't know any other way out of this. We've come to the end of the track. Peace between the Vagabonds and the Syndicate. <laughs> now that's a thought. You know, it almost gives me hope. And you? Yeah, maybe you could make this happen. All right, young one, you've inspired me. I don't know how Black will react, but we can take it to him. But I warn you, this may end badly. Like that, is it? Well, let's have it, you little shit. Bright-eyed and bushy-tailed, I see. Hey, sunshine.
Muppet. How can I help you? Have a look. Farewell. Have you been to Le Pub? Nah, it's members Hands only. Off Cox and the off password off. is Trevor Nelson. You don't look like much, but I suppose at the end of the day, neither do I. Where's Nelson? Oh, that's a shame. Everyone plays their own role in events. Nelson knew his place. But he was too emotional. That was always his problem. His weakness. Never mind. History now. Let's talk about the present. You know where you are, Wayfarer? That's right. I sit right at the top of here. You know what this place used to be before the world burned down? Right again. But it was more than just that. It was like a temple to money itself. Billions flowing in now, every day. Businesses, houses, livelihoods, lives, all bought and sold. There was no room for emotion here. Living and dying was an abstract thing. All anyone cared for was value and how to generate more of it. People lost their souls here. Sucked up into the stream of the worship of money. That's the key, you see. That's what I've come to understand over the years. Tickets, pounds, shares, equity, cash, whatever you call it. It all has the same power. The power to own people's very souls. That's how I got Nelson so thoroughly. I could have just controlled him with uh, threats, intimidation, blackmail, all effective enough mechanisms. But I wanted more. So I paid him. Not even very much. But he was a traitor and I paid him for it. And that very knowledge ate away at his soul, the guilt consuming him so utterly that he became my pliant puppet. I'm just a businessman. But it doesn't work on everyone. Some people have desires that go far beyond money. Young Gaunt, for instance, I would never have a hope of buying now. And I get the impression you're not so easily swayed, either. What's your fare, Wayfarer? Interesting. Well, I have a proposition for you. You've been a nuisance to me. No two ways about it. 
You've been very bad for business. But you've made a lot of openings too, and I need to fill them. Simple fact is, I need people like you. You join up with me and perhaps we can both profit greatly. Not just in cash, of course, but power, prestige, control, and perhaps even more besides. Ever get tired of the fabric of the world? Ever think about doing more than just moving pieces on a board? But all in good time. Absolutely. They're dead one way or the other. The only question is... Will you be an instigator, or a victim? It's a doggy dog world, everyone knows that. Besides, there are plenty who are benefiting from all the vacancies you've created. Things I've had a shake-up, and many on the rise owe their new positions to your past efforts. Well, well. That is indeed a shame. I guess our business here is concluded. Kill him. Yeah! Not already!
You're looking like the type that needs something to take the edge off. Most doctors tend to run side businesses. Go give them an ask. Don't be shy. got a slappable face, you know that. Ah.
protect and survive. Hello? Swan and Mitre reception service speaking. Who the fuck is this? You're the one who rang me. <laughs> By that gormless drone of a voice, I'm guessing it's the lab rat. Wait. Blacky boy is dead. Six feet shorter. Fucking poker one, mate. If I was any more ecstatic, you could clip my balls to a generator and light a Bromley. Bang up job. This radio was in Nelson's gaff, though. Please don't tell me the blind bastard sold me out. What kind of Tinker Taylor soldier cunt does he think he is? You're saying he's seen the light and gone turncoat? The fucker is blind, the clue's in the fucking name! He lost his eyes on black orders, and you're telling me he decided to hop the fence? Where the fuck is the loyalty? That cunt! For years he was my mentor, for years! And you're telling me he groomed me up to just fuck me like this? You kill him, you understand? I want him dead and I want him dead yesterday. You hear me? Couldn't have come fast enough. Glad you took that upon yourself. Give my thanks. Rats like him don't deserve forgiveness. I hope that blind bastard loses his way to the afterlife, fumbling around in the darkness for eternity like the rat he is. Right then. You've beat the dog over the head and squashed the rat. Now it's time to cut off the dog's bollocks. No doubt you made a ruckus up there. Keep doing so. Put down as many of those dogs as you can. Backup's already on the way. Grab Black's pistol for me. I'll be there pronto. Now get to it.
one and only. Glad to have you back. I believe you have my trophy. Here it is. Thought you might be telling tales. Black's own Lady Bristol. In the flesh. This was the last thing the old man ever saw before Black put a crater in his head. I've thought about this good all my life. Imagined it every night. What it would look like. How it would feel to hold. It... It feels wrong. Here, it's yours. You deserve it. Let's move on. I'll finish up here. Need some time by my lonesome. I sent Johnny down to the tunnels to catch any fleeing mutts. Make sure he doesn't bottle it. My mother wanted me to be a farmer, but I get my hands dirty in other ways. Careful where you tread, or you'll give me a reason to have fun. If you hang around, wouldn't hurt none. We need the numbers. Where do you think you're off to? Quits with my tickets on bullets or bookmakers. I know the better venture. You'll piss me right off, mate.
Where's that sneaky prick got to? You all right? Come here, you dumb- ah. I'm just glad I did go on proud. Thanks for the help. Don't know if I could have done it on my own. I'll stay down here and guard these tunnels. You better see how Winston's doing.
Stubborn, so let's not chit chat for long. This ain't over yet. Go find Bullet Tooth. No doubt he could do with the support. I'll hold down here. We'll speak later. They know better than to mess with the dogs. You get bit. I'm not keen on the whole sharing thing. is going to be <sighs>
More bodies getting shot don't never hurt anything. You the one helping out? Good to see you. I love a good speech. Oh, here we go. Better listen. Lend me your ears. It's over. It's fucking done. This is my town. Not Thomas Black's. Not the dogs. Not the gentries. And definitely not Nelson's, that blind eyed fucker. Mine. The Gaunts were running this town when you were witching the bed. We ran this town with respect. With real men. Like my father. We knew what was what, and who was who. This city was ours. And look at it now. We offered up a piece of the action, and all we got in return was treachery and fucking disorder. The Red Treaty. They thought the Vagabonds were finished, driven to near extinction. But here I am. It's over. And I win. Fuck the Isle of Dog Syndicate. Fuck Thomas Black. And long live the Vagabonds. Brought a tear to me eye. That was... something. Humble as ever. We need to talk. After the Red Tree, the I was a broken man. I'd lost everything. Like Gaunt, the only thing that kept me going was revenge. Even after you helped me with Lockheed, I vowed that I would see this through to the end. If it meant victory or death, I didn't care. I always knew this war of vengeance would leave many casualties. But I ignored it. It took seeing the bodies to realise that they died for us. People like me and Gaunt. Like Thomas Black. Gaunt didn't think they were worth mentioning in any speech. He made it all about him. I won't forgive him for that. And I won't forget those who died in his name. I'll say my farewells to Johnny and Bullet Tooth. And then I'm leaving. For good. Thanks for everything, Wayfarer. Evening. My mother wanted me to be a farmer. You alright? I get my hands dirty in other ways. A new face. You sticking around? Listen, Sid, I don't want this stuff of yours being spread about no more. Listen, Sid, I don't want this stuff of yours being spread about no more. Mind your P's and Q's. If I'm watching you, at least two others are doing the same. Listen, Sid, I don't want this stuff of yours being spread about no more. 